Good morning guys So today we're going to Darwin With my buddy Mishu here He morning, just hello. He just finished his open water with me And we will be We will be looking for the Rare octopus species You know like uh, Blue ring, mototi, coconut, algae Wunderpus That's our target Because now it's good time uh, to look for octopuses it's like beginning of the octopus season in Darwin so we will join our, uh, our friends and go for a dive yeah and hopefully yeah. hopefully we can find something good I feel we find something you feel that yes okay that's good I feel good <laughs> energy yeah <laughs> welcome guys in the summary of my November dives 2023 Mainly during this month we was focused on the octopuses, rare species of the octopuses, small octopuses, because that was the season for octopuses in Darwin. So first thing which you can see here is the flamboyant cuttlefish, very beautiful species which can grow up to 8 centimeters, so not so, not so big. Uh, it's well known from walking upon the seafloor, so they are not good, uh, not good swimmers due to small size of its cattle bone and they can only float for a short uh, short period of time yeah? so mainly they are walking like you can observe here and just change their pattern you know constantly very beautiful species so here we have a um, kind of normal cuttlefish not so not so fancy as a flamboyant uh, you know, we, we got like 120 cuttlefish spe species, so it's really a lot of them, like the, the scientists found. And they are quite uh, intelligent creatures, due to the brain-to-body ratio, it's, it's pretty high. And now it's time for the first octopus we found was the coconut octopus, so pretty interesting species can grow up to 15 centimeters uh, his diet is crabs clams and shrimps um, as the majority of the octopuses he also can change color and the texture details of its skin but there is something unique uh, he can bipedal walk so he use his two arms as a kind of legs and that's cool because during this time he can keep the camouflage uh, turning like on because since uh, he switched to the siphon then the camo wears out uh, coconut octopus also can use some items as a tools so for example he can use the coconut shell that's why we got the name he can use the clam shells he, oh here you can see there is a small crab holding by, by him. I slow mo this shot and he already have a crab and just want to eat him. <laughs> so I kind of disturbed this guy, you know, with his meal. Really, really cool creature. And this small mantis shrimp, you can see here, he just punched my camera. There is a slow mo for it, you know. I think sometimes he, they can even crush the, the camera lens or something, so I was lucky, he was small. And that's one of my favorite uh, fish, this is clown trigger fish. Uh, when I was a kid I have a... I, I collecting the post stamps, so I have a collection of the stamps with post stamps with tropical fishes and and the cl clown trigger fish that was my favorite post stamp you know because this fish is so beautiful and colorful i really enjoyed this stamp so now when i can find this fish i'm like uh, double happy with it and as other trigger fishes you know they are very territorial uh, when they are mating both parents protect the nest so if you come close they can they can attack you know they they attacking the divers they they attacking the other fishes like 
fight with them really hard. And here I found some some lure, you know, homemade by Filipinos. Then I found another cuttlefish. So yeah, you know the cuttlefish they feed on fishes, crabs, shrimps, and they are even the cannibals. So they can they can eat smaller cuttlefishes than they than they sell. So that's that's what they doing, you know. And and the, this one, uh, I try to chase her, you know, like a little because. At some point, she don't like to stay, stay in front of my camera and my lights. So that was kind of cool, you know, following her, and she was like going back and back. And you can see the the camo is still there, you know, like she's changing the colors and but going faster and faster. And there is a master of these guys. So this is algae octopus. Their camo skills are, I think, one of the best among the other octopuses because she can change the pattern, she can change the col color, and she can simulate something like a growing algae on her body. So mainly she can pretend she's like a shell covered with algae. So that's unbelievable. And of course, she can keep that only when she's like not moving or she just she walking on her arms. When she start to swim using the siphon, then all the camo is gone. You will see that on the one of the shots here or like like right now yeah but once she stop boom turn on the camo and I'm not the octopus I'm just like a algae shell or, or a rack they are also known uh, that during the low tide they can move from one uh, tight pool to another one you know to look for the prey so they can go out of the water for a short period of time really cool we found like three pieces of them or, or something like that that day that dive here we have a wunderpus octopus so really amazing creature and the funny thing she was officially described by the scientist in 2006 so not so long time ago uh, you know thanks to the shape of, of her head which is like Y letter <laughs> uh, and these very small eyes they look kind of kind of funny and they I don't know they look like uh, aliens you know or something uh, she she does does not change the bod body pattern but she can change the hue and the contrast of the of the body eh, of the colors so uh, she can also like throw throw out one of the arms in case she is danger to attract the potential predator and save herself and then the arms will be uh, regenerated by time regrow so really awesome really Baby awesome shit. dive it was Dark, huh? <laughs> so guys we have a pizza break lunch break uh, we hope for a second dive after we eat. and it was really good you know like at the beginning it was only the cuttlefishes but you know if you're starting your, your dive with flamboyant cuttlefish, it's already a good dive, yeah? So then we found like uh, two more cuttlefishes, then another flamboyant. And then we go a little bit shallower and suddenly we, we start to find the octopuses. So there was like, I think, three algae octopus, uh, one coconut, one 
long arm octopus and at the end of the dive we found the wunderpus so really amazing amazing dive and i hope and Mishu hope also we will go there again after yes. we eat pizza if, is on the way if not then we will go home <laughs> <laughs> i cannot dive in different spot today you know i don't like <laughs> yeah we go <laughs> yes, and finally during our second dive that day, we found a blurring octopus, uh, which is another amazing kind of octopus. It can grow up to 20 centimeters. Uh, he can use the camo skills as other octopuses uh, like normally during the daily routine but once they are filled they are in danger they start to show you the these blue rings and they change the color of the body to more yellow and orange something like that so you know it's a clear message don't touch me i'm i'm the venomous guy here you know be aware And you know, they are, they have tetratodotoxin, which is uh, 1200 times uh, more deadly than the cyanide. So when she bites you, it can paralyze the respiratory system and basically you will just suffocate. And there is no anti-venom for it. You can only get like CPR and some stimulants so make you still breathing because the uh, the breathing muscles they cannot work so someone need to uh, make a CP cpr to the victim and then after some time the, the the toxin will will be metabolized by the body and and the patient will st start to breathe again so don't mess with these guys even they are looking so cool, you know, and I'm always happy to, to see them, which is not so common, you know, to, to find the blurring octopus. Sometimes you, you, you will see this like once a year or, or even less. You know, during my five years dives on Sikihor, I found like maybe three pieces in the five years. Yeah, and this funny guy is a worthy frogfish. So they they have also the frogfishes. They have uh, camo skills as well, but uh, to change the coloration and the patterns, it can take them like uh, weeks. So it's not so not so fast like with the octopuses, yeah. But you know the cool looking creature. They have the kind of lure between the eyes so you can see now like he drop it down and will move it with it so it reminds like kind of small shrimp or something so just to attract the the prey to come closer to his mouth so he can he can swallow the prey yeah? mainly they are like that just not moving and pretending I'm not here <laughs> That's the rare view to find the peacock mantis shrimp outside of his barrel. So in these shots you can see why it's called peacock. Uh, it's obvious, yeah. So I was kinda kinda lucky because mainly they, they are just inside of their holes and you can see only the eyes uh, outside. And here at the end I, I put some shots from the open water course which I did to my friend uh, Michael so it was also in, uh, in October and it was really good open water I, he was so happy with it you know he get hooked to diving so after the course he already did like 15 dives I think totally so he wanted he wanted to dive every day so 
really, really cool, yeah. yeah. And here is another beautiful fish, which is Emperor Angel Fish. So, thanks guys for watching and thanks for all the support, you know, which you're giving us for the channel. So, thanks to our Patreons. Uh, thanks to all the people who commenting, who subscribe and who watching our vlogs. I'm really appreciated. Thank you all a lot. Really appreciate it.